I was only 12 years old when I met you. After 16 years, this woman who calls herself you Jamie called the woman she says sexually you abused her. You're an assistant principal, huh? Do you realize that you brainwashed me and you manipulated me? And that what you did was wrong? Yes. And I regret it. Jamie recorded the conversation with her former teacher and put it on the internet. Why are you excluded from the law? I mean, why did you do that? Nine News psychologist Dr. Max Wachtel watched the video, the apparent confession, and explanation. I only, I just wanted to help you. How is having a sexual relationship with a 12-year-old student helping? You hear that a lot from perpetrators of sex assault who show no remorse and just don't get it. That wasn't anything that I intended. I don't even know what happened. Under California law, Jamie's abuse claims won't be fully investigated. The statute of limitations on the case ran out. But her course of action could signify a new form of coping. Victims need some sort of outlet for, for justice. I wouldn't be surprised if this type of thing starts to happen more often. But what she can do is what she did, which is public shaming. The educator resigned from her current job as assistant principal once the video went viral. Nine News legal analyst Scott Robinson tells us there would have likely been criminal charges. It's fully admissible in any criminal trial had not the statute of limitations passed. Is that how you help them? But Jamie technically did something illegal legal here. Recording the conversation is against California law uh, since Jamie. both parties uh, weren't aware of it. You should be so ashamed and so disgusted with yourself. By law, Jamie could be charged for what she did. You're disgusting. Bye. Now, if they pursue charges, California officials will likely be very lenient with Jamie 